Thanksgiving. <laughs> we'll make dinner. We will. Oh, <laughs> that small. might not be a treat for you. <laughs> We're going to have to go to our Kitchen World kitchen now, which today we might be retitling the principal's office. That's right. We have uh, another show up from our principal, Mike McGavaro, with Joe. That's right. Mike's here. Uh, last time, Mike, you, when you were here, you made some delicious ribs. Um, did. So we're sticking in with that kind of food theme right now, right? We, we love grilling, and we yeah. love grilling. We love summer. <clears throat> we don't want summer to end. At my house, it's year-round. Keep it going. Grilling it going, all right? the time. <laughs> yes. Keep all right. Going. So today we're making a uh, cheddar habanero burger of some yeah, sort. Yeah, we're going to take a, like a homemade hamburger, mm -hmm. and what we're going to do is put a. I love things that are hot, and cheesy. Sounds so good we're going to me. Put, <laughs> we're going to put the onions in there, and then we're going to put habanero cheddar, shred it right into the mix. That way you got your, you already have your, uh, your cheese in there, you already have your onion in there, and the other ingredients, and it's a great burger. So it's all easy, easily mixed. Now, what yes. kind of meat do you use when you're making a burger? Is it like 80-20, 90-10? What we have here is 80-20. 80-20, uh, so a little If extra you want to do 90-10, but you know what, it gets a little dry, the burger yeah. does, so we want to keep it. Um, some foods you don't want to care about the calories, and this is one you want to do the 80-20, so you get yeah. a little bit of that juice in the burger, and it's, uh, you know, it's going to hold together good, um, but you just don't want that 90-10. Yeah, because yeah. it, it does dry up pretty quick. It dries up so, really quick, yes. So be careful with that. Now, this is a, uh, we're making sliders today as well, right? Those are we the are. little bite size. I mean, it just basically means I can eat more. Of it. That's all that means. <laughs> but, uh, it does. Because it's like somebody that goes for a half a donut and then goes back for the other half. Right, why, why not just, you know, <laughs> they don't want the big burger, but they'll go for the little one. So we're going to make the little ones, and Perfect you won't count how many you have. That's right. And there's <laughs> a little formula to doing that, right? You're going to show is. me how to do that. There is. We uh, have our ingredients perfect. in front of us here, and we're going to put that together. Uh, in a couple of minutes. All right, very excited. Everything is, uh, of course, on our website. We have the ingredients. Uh, we're going to start yes. chopping some stuff up in the next segment. And, yes. Uh, we're going to get going on this great recipe uh, here on Winging It. Right now, right. we're going to send things over to Emily Lenahan. In the new We've had a little changing plan now. Joe has uh, changed the recipe to humble pie. Yes, he is going to be eating a lot of it. In our <laughs> he already is. Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, de I definitely got shredded. Uh, uh, well, there's going to be some shredding and chopping so, going over here, too, Joe. Right, so, so I'm going to be shredding the cheese today. That's my, uh, my main goal. And okay. we're using one of these little machines. Now, yep. what are we making here, Mike, first off? We're making really the quick. habanero cheddar burger. Okay, and this is the habanero cheddar That's the cheese. the habanero cheddar cheese. Okay, so I'm going to start... So you're going to start shredding it. Shredding we're going to get it. as much as we can. Now, this recipe, as everything is basically put into the uh, meat all together, and you just got to make the patties, and you're ready to go. Right. We mix it all together, so great and then you, you just... If you're going to the Bills game, get them ready before you head out, right? Yeah, absolutely, and just reheat them okay. on the grill, mm -hmm. or if you're out at the game, and works out really well. Yeah, why not? Now, you're uh, cooking some, or, or chopping up some I'm going to be chopping onions, up right? some red onion. That's going to go in there, too. That'll give it a little sweetness, oh, I guess. Oh, yeah, a little sweetness. Okay. And the thing is, you're already adding the cheese and the onions on it, so you don't have to put it on later. So it works out really, right. really so well. Right, so why not? Yeah, yeah. it works out. That's, it's almost foolproof. It's foolproof. All you need is the mustard and the ketchup, and Fool you're good to like go. like me, who doesn't so. know what kind of dog is in the movie Beethoven. <laughs> has anybody got a question? Not Ask bad. <laughs> Stick to the cooking. Yeah, Mike. that's it. So. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're just chopping up the onion. That's a rough chop, pretty much. It is a rough really chop. Normally, I don't want to cut any fingers here, so right. uh, I have sliced my fingernail off before and other things, so we don't want anything else in the mix. <laughs> We've all been We don't want anything in the mix. <laughs> all right. So we'll drop some of this in the bowl here. Drop it right in the bowl. Get it right in there. All right. We're going to drop some of our oh, This cheese, our actually, you can smell the, oh, the habanero in it. I know. It's great, great, Joe, great are you spice. crying because of the onions or because uh, you lost a little bit of both? A little bit of both. Uh, a little bit of both. All right. So, yeah, we have the habanero cheese, okay. we have the onions. Uh, we're going to put the 80 20 beef back in, and then we have our other ingredients that uh, are salt, pepper, garlic powder, uh, breadcrumb, and an egg. All right, good stuff. Very Thanks simple. Uh, yes. We're going to make these patties in the next uh, round. We are. Ra round. I'm already <laughs> picking Quizmaster here, which I'm no longer a part of, but uh, we're going to make them uh, little, little sliders. Right? We are. I said you make it like a meatball. A couple of meatballs like meatball sitting up here right now. Right. We're just going to make another That's meatball. Right. <laughs> Smush it down. We're going to have our sliders I ready. definitely feel like a meatball right now. <laughs> back to you guys. We got at least one great thing today with a burger in the kitchen. Yes, we're going to see how that's coming up right now. That's right. Uh, it's just me and Principal Mike McGavro here. Uh, last time you were here, you made some great ribs. Yep. People still talking about them. Uh, we're making a cheddar habanero burger today. Everything's basically in the meat when you mix it together. That's the Everything's idea, right? in the meat. You start okay. with your 80-20 beef. Uh, we mm -hmm. added some onion. We yep. added some habanero cheddar. Lots of habanero cheddar. Absolutely. We want it oozing out of the burger. It is spicy oh, stuff. <laughs> I had the tiniest <laughs> little bit before, yes. and my mouth is still on fire. So. Oh, my God. Well, that's even more so than that. We're going to put uh, also yep. on that is going to go a little salt and pepper. Okay, that's a 50-50 mix right there. About a tablespoon of each. Okay. Uh, garlic powder. Mm-hmm. And then the thing that kind of binds it together. Bread and crumbs. Also, bread crumbs. Hmm. Bread crumbs and... Joe. And one egg. Are you going to try to do it with one hand? I can't. 
you don't, yeah. <laughs> Unless you, you want, want the crunchy style, style? Right. Yeah, okay. yeah, you don't want me to do it. Yeah, right. It wasn't too bad. Okay. And then really. just get in there and right. That's why I got the mix that up. So I'm gonna start mixing this up. Mix it up good. Now yeah. um, we're making sliders today. Now folks at home don't know what they are. We are. You know, <laughs> they're living I, in another world. But <laughs> sometimes that yeah. big hamburger is just too big. Sometimes for that's some right. people. So that's right. Um, they came out with these nice little rolls that you can you can get at any well at the big supermarkets. Yep. And uh, it, it's better to make just that that little slider burger. Absolutely. Because everybody's happy with those. Well, like, I can wow, just keep popping them cute. all day, you know? And they taste just like the real thing. <laughs> they do. They really do. They really do. And this is a hearty little burger. It's going to pack it quite is a, a hearty punch burger. anyway. Yes, so it is. Maybe you don't want so much of that habanero in a, in a big burger anyway, right? So, so this isn't uh, for a person yeah. that doesn't like things hot, just like a stuffed hot pepper or something like that. Absolutely. And the, and the red onion. Hot burger. Red onion will give it a little sweetness It does anyway, give it right? a little sweetness, yeah. Very much so. Okay. How am I doing here? Is this You're uh, doing pretty good. Get down a little bit deeper. Okay. Get some of the stuff that's on the bottom. Good call there. And now, then, depending on how much meat you use, you can use another egg if you wanted, right? You could use another. We started okay. with about three pounds of uh, about three pounds. This of is three meat pounds, okay. So okay. For this, and it yields about 15 burgers. About 15. Yep. Okay. And you can make this the night before you go to a Bills game. It's even better. It's like right? chili or sauce or, or burgers that they, they sit in the fridge. Really, well, just like this. Or, yes, or you make some ahead of time, right? And have them already grilled. Uh, not, just right? heat them back up. Just heat them so, back up, yeah. right? And and that 80/20 is going to give it a lot of the 80/20 is going to give it a lot. If right. you want to <laughs> use the healthier meat, you said it's okay, but it's going to dry up a little. It is, quicker, but you right? know, sometimes it's it's not bad if once in a while you use something that's got a little more fat in it. Sure, right? I mean, everyone picks. So. You know, you got to have one day a week to cheat. You do. That's what I say. Well, why don't we make some meatball oh, size? It four days. It's like you know, we love meatballs, don't we? Absolutely. If we make some meatball size burgers, I'm going to do You're going to show me too. We're going to work on this together here. Roll it around in your hand, and okay. basically, well, you don't want to burn yourself on the sides of the pan, but just smush it down once. So roll it and smush it, and right in. And then there's your slider. <laughs> Look at that. Kind of so like that. A, yes. I think I did okay there. Because you can see the size of the rolls here. You want to be able to. Yeah, have, that's. And it'll shrink on, a little bit. It'll shrink. And you right. can have a little bit on the side that overhangs. Sure. Why not? I love a little overhang. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when it comes to meat. You know, why well, the overhang is in the belly. Right? <laughs> that, 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 that I don't like, but. <laughs> I do have that as well. Yeah, and, and the thing is, the nice about the, about the pan is you can do this at home. You don't, if you don't have a grill or if you want to mm -hmm. do it inside the house, you don't have to grill every hamburger. My right. mother, growing up, used to make hamburgers in the in the pan all the time, and they That's were just That's how I grew fantastic. up. That, I, I know, absolutely. It's okay. It's okay a lot of flavor in that yes, pan, right? Tons, tons. Yeah. In fact, yeah. it retains most of the That's what, yeah, that's the what they say. You don't want to wash so. it too much. Yep. Keep some of that in and there. we just move those around okay. and uh, put a little guy in there. Yeah, we can probably perfect. get about, I don't know, six, seven, eight. That one will be for that's our, our niece, uh, <laughs> Baby Grace. That's for Baby Grace. You have an apology to make right now. You She is the official winging it baby, by the way. That's my niece and your niece. Well, I just wanted to say that. You woke up last night, didn't you? When you live five houses away from your in-laws, <laughs> you tend to play games with each other. Yeah, you're so rattling on the door. It huh? was my turn to bang on the house. Tom fell out of the chair and fell off the couch, and Grace woke upstairs, and before I knew it, I was getting phone calls. You son of a... <laughs> that was go. it. <laughs> so, sorry, Mom and Dad. <laughs> and sorry to you, Grace. You didn't get your beauty sleep. Oh, but She's gosh. beautiful. I don't anyway, think your Mom and Dad matter. know that I did that yet, though. Well... Um, <laughs> kind of let the cat out of the bag. Yeah, there it is. All right. So we'll let these go... Yeah. Uh, no, maybe five just minutes. Sit here and make these. Yeah, all just day. keep going. I'm sorry, we could make these all day. And yeah. as you can see, look at how uh, you know everything's uh, coarsely chopped. So you have the onion. Yeah, it doesn't have to be rough, fine. So you have chop. everything's yeah. a rough cut. So mm -hmm. the shredded cheese, the onions. You can see the onions sticking out everywhere. And we'll just give it a give one of them or two of them a little. Yeah, flip. there you go. That's what you're looking for. And you're looking for a little bit of the sear. And the cheese is so powerfully hot. I, I just really we, we should have a disclaimer on this cheese. It's, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's the real deal. I, mean, I don't know what happened, but uh, my wife, Meg, and I were, were shopping one day, and we uh, we went and we saw this one. She's the habanero. You have jalapeno. Right on, you have, but so the many, habanero yeah. mixed in with the cheddar was just phenomenal. Yeah. So we continue to buy that one all the time. And we said, why not mix it into some of the things that we eat? Sure, why not? So, and this is a great little, uh, like I said, everything's in one. It's it's kind of foolproof if you it do is. it right. All right. Absolutely. I hear the music. That means we got to toss to a commercial break. We're going to have these ready to go, plus a second helping. And it involves oh, uh, another Italian kind of product that... And welcome back. We're making some delicious habanero cheese uh, cheddar sliders here yes. with uh, Principal Mike, um, who's back and wowing us all once again. <laughs> all right, we've got um, a lot of uh, a lot of burgers. So if you have the burgers left over, yes. um, here's something you can do with the meat, right? And this meat stays juicy because it's that 80-20 mix. It'll so you stay can juicy. You don't have to do anything. But keep it in the foil so we keep all the juices right. in, so it doesn't absolutely. Uh, so it's not on a grate or something. But right. Anyway, you take the the burgers. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you get some, who doesn't like elbow macaroni or macaroni and cheese? So like, take the burgers, just chop them up any way you want. Yep. Get them chopped up. And it'll break apart pretty It'll break apart easy. real easy. Yeah. Make a lot of noise while you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and then 
Back into the... It doesn't work if you don't make a lot of noise. Back into the elbow macaroni. Now, in there, uh, since the burger has all the ingredients and all, there's no need to re-salt and re-pepper. Right. So you do all that. So you throw in there. The only thing is, we did throw a stick of butter in there. And since Paula Dean was mentioned for her... <laughs> Lipstick, right? There We're talking about a lip stick bomb, of butter. Right? So, yeah, yeah lip balm. Butter, so, y'all. There it is. She'd probably put three sticks of butter She in probably there, did. I only went with one. This so is good enough. <laughs> you let that go a little bit inside of the, the pan, and then mm -hmm. you're ready to serve. Oh, great stuff. And oh. we were, we're also talking about, uh, you know, tailgating and yes. stuff like that. You were saying if you make this the night before, um, like, the, the, you know, basically right. the meat and everything together, the... You give it some time to sit in there. Uh, it it, there's just something more flavor, about right? letting it sit overnight together in the yeah. fridge and that, that the flavor just is enhanced. Yeah, why not, it's right? so much better, and, yes. and really easy to tailgate. And I like how you just kind of rough chopped everything because it doesn't really matter. Rough yeah. chop everything, it doesn't yeah. matter. Mm -hmm. When you're putting stuff on your burger, usually that's, you know, your onions and everything is all usually roughly chopped. And you're, well, anyway, uh, it yeah. all goes in. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's good to go. And, and like I said, the rough chop is the best because I am not... A cul yeah, culinary the, genius the, no. that can get it. You are a genius, small. though, let me just tell you. Um, <laughs> now, speaking of other recipes, we're going to have you on the show again, of course. So really quick, we've yes. got about 30 seconds. You've got grandma's recipes, I right? do. Uh, I have to ask my mother permission who's watching right now. Get the Mom, sauce recipe. can we recipe. make the sauce recipe the we next the time? Sauce. And that's it. And so. you know what? We, we both know that when we've tried to duplicate <laughs> our mom's sauce, even when we watch her, it doesn't turn out to be the same Joe, thing Joe, you anyway, could watch so. every step, everything, right. and it, it yeah. just doesn't taste the same. It's just for some reason. But we're going to get it pretty close. Okay, good. So that's a definite for the next time. Principal Mike's back on. Uh, great day right now. We got some great sliders in here. Uh, can't wait to have you back. Oh, glad to be back. All right, and one more quick apology to Grace. You uh, woke her up last night. Gracie, Tom, and Ann, <laughs> get back on the couch. Get back on the saddle. Relax. We're good to go. All right, cool. <laughs> back to you guys. Thank you.